Hello everyone, this is Chuck Wieger. Very busy at the Capitol. We are now done with nearly four weeks of activity as we focus on the number one priority, that being the budget. And by May 20 or sooner, our deadline, we will have a balanced budget and it will be fair and progressive. As you know, the governor has proposed a budget of nearly $38 billion and we're discussing many aspects of it right now. I chair the Education Finance Committee for Early Ed through 12th grade, and we have hearings that are started. We heard from over 18 groups just in the past uh, few days, and we are going to have additional hearings uh, over the next several weeks to hear from additional people on the subject. Uh, in addition to hearings in that committee, I serve on the Transportation Policy and Finance Committee where we're getting recommendations from the Department of Transportation, from Minnesota Department of Public Safety, Metro Council, and other groups that are a part of our transportation and transit system, as well as public safety. Also, I serve on the Finance Committee that will look at all sections of the pie and put together a proposal that will then be reviewed by the entire State Senate. Of course, we look at finance, but in it, when you have the proposals before you, you have to pay for it. So that's a combination of taxes, whether it's in property, income, or sales. We have a number of suggestions that are being proposed there. There are suggestions, and you've heard about them. Let me know. Let your state rep know if you have concerns, ideas that you want to share on that. So that's the mission, the budget. Uh, I want to highlight a few of the meetings that I've been at. I really enjoy uh, seeing you down here at the Capitol, but out in the community. Uh, recently, we were at the North St. Paul City Council meeting, uh, met with members to talk about issues uh, that the council is sharing with us. Uh, we were at the Oakdale City Hall in a town meeting just recently, our third one, uh, talking to a number of neighbors in the area about concerns at the state legislature. Uh, we had a nice meeting with the White Bear City Council. I gave an overview to the council, the mayor, at their recent meeting. Also, the Ramsey County League of Local Governments. Just this past week, we met a number of legislators in the county, and we talked on uh, issues that the local governments, including the cities, townships, uh, and the school district, uh, in addition to the, the county. The same type of organization exists in Washington County, and we did meet with the Washington County Board as well. So a lot of meetings. One that I particularly enjoyed as well was out at the College of St. Catharines last Saturday. Uh, we heard about social justice issues. Uh, there was over 100 persons there, uh, various legislators that could make it in the area. I was pleased to see uh, some of the sisters from the monastery in uh, Maplewood for the Benedictine Monastery, and I'm so happy that they have a shared a part of that ministry and their facility for the Tubman Domestic Violence Center. Just had a wonderful update, by the way, on progress that's being made, but additional work that needs to be done for domestic violence. Also at the St. Catharines University meeting, we had reps from the St. Joseph Carondelet uh, Order. and. Uh, sharing uh, concerns about uh, education, transportation, and so, you know, the religious community and their allies, they provide a number of concerns that we uh, take very seriously, and we look forward to that annual conversation at St. Catharines. Uh, have many students that come in, it's always fun to have that, and you'll see some pics from time to time on the website, uh, just sharing observations or else Going out and visiting classes is always fun. Also, we uh, had a meeting with the White Bear uh, School Board and uh, look forward to an upcoming one with the North St. Paul Maplewood Oakdale School Board. Uh, Roseville has an activity coming up. And there's a number of items that uh, I have for bills that have been introduced. And they may relate to something in the district that has come forward, or it may be a, a statewide significance issue. So I invite you to take a look uh, further at the website or look at the uh, bill introductions that I may be authoring or co-authoring. Uh, we're going to have a hearing uh, just uh, in a couple of days for one that the White Bear Chamber of Commerce has asked for on uh, the sales tax and as it relates to the purchase of equipment. We'll have uh, representatives from the chamber talking how we can improve the job climate by cutting red tape 
for a process that you have to go through for filing to get a refund uh, for the sales tax you paid, so why not just uh, have an exemption on that sales tax without going through that red tape? It's an example of working with uh, the local chamber or local groups. Uh, one, our largest business, of course, in the area is 3M. I was on a tour out there at the plant. We're delighted about the announcement for a brand new research and development facility in Maplewood uh, that will have 700 jobs housed there and there will be a proposal before the tax committee to address a partnership with the city and other area governments in uh, achieving that. So uh, lots of things happening. If there is any particular issue you'd like to share with me, uh, a recommendation, just uh, let me know. You have my email or feel free to call or text me my number is 651-770-0283. Thank you very much.